Hello YouTube family and friends. This is Rev with Rev It Up Mustang Fanatic Productions. You can see behind me is Electrobiff, my 1999 Ford SVT Mustang Cobra. And if you don't know me by now, they call me Rev because I am a pastor, ordained pastor, and I love to rev it up. And so this is where we get our uh, Logan slogan from rev it up Mustang fanatic production. That is our YouTube page and uh, Today is November 24th Year 2019 of our Lord. I just want to thank God for yet another day that he has allowed us to Enjoy the fruits of our labor and giving him glory for it. Welcome to the channel and uh, today uh, We're just gonna Crank her up, take her for a little small ride. It's, it's a pretty day outside. So, actually, let me I'll be right back and we'll show you. So, as you can see, it's a beautiful day outside. It's uh, nice and sunny out here. And so, uh, there's a ledger biff where she parks at in the garage. So, we're going to do a little cold start. And we're going to take a ride. But um, tomorrow is going to be an even better day. And so I want you guys to tune in to the channel tomorrow. Because we're going to be having some fixer up of projects. Because most of the driving season is over for this year as far as car shows. And so we reveal all the uh, trophies that we won for this year's season going to car shows. And this is the time where we have the Mustang down and we do mods and we fix different little imperfections and things. And these are common problems on these Mustangs is this right here. When I go to close the door, it catches right up underneath the paint. And so it doesn't want to close properly. So what I have to do is push down on it to get it closed. So. We're going to be working on that tomorrow. All we have to do is pull the panel apart. And then there's a screw right in here. I'm hoping it's just a screw that you would just loosen up and bring the window down just a hair. And it'll line up. If it's not the window, then it'll be the, the window track that the window sits in. The glue down there sometimes get loose and it falls off and causes the window to do that. So we'll find out what's going on with that. Uh, tomorrow but right now we're gonna do a cold start for you and uh, we'll be back in just a second with that be in that vehicle anymore but we will be in a 2004 GMC so we're going to turn this plate in a motor vehicle and I figured this was just a beautiful day to get the car the Cobra out because it hasn't been out since the the car show in Surfside back in October the early part of October 
So you would think that was probably about four weeks ago, maybe, that we've been to that car show. So every nice day that we get, we kind of like to get Electra Bib out and take her for a little cruise. It's not good to let your car sit up all the time, so it's such a beautiful day. We thought we'd get her out and go for a nice little drive. And you guys will get to be in a sweet new edge 1999 Ford SVT Mustang Cobra 4.6 liter engine, dual overhead cams yes 32 valves bbk ceramic coated inch and five eighths long tube headers bbk off-road x pipe and the very famous boiler singer or just say boiler attack cat backs so and then we have the uh vortex supercharger and we had the Vortec cold air intake. So those are just a few mods that are up underneath the engine. And uh, this baby pushes out about 502 horse, rear horse wheel power. And it pushes about 496 to the crank. So she's loud and she's also fast. And this is inside the cabin. And you can hear that thunder roar. And she's a head turner. You hear her coming long before you see her. And uh, that's a joy to drive something like this. It could be my daily driver, but I don't like the daily driver because I mostly bought it for a show car. But it is pro street. You can see we have the Corvo racing seats, the adjustable seat frame. We got the four, five panel, four cam locking seat belt harness and we also have the rear delete seat kit we have 10 by 9s in the back we're running the street cop 315s in the rear and the regular 10 by 8s up front uh, so they're the staggered tires those Stacy, those Mickey Thompson street comp tires, I tell you, they stick good. And uh, she bites and grabs. So although we got her set up for track or street, we mostly just take her to shows. And uh, the only place she runs on is on the dyno. So we don't like to burn rubber or anything like that because uh, this is an investment and we like to take care of our investment. So, but we don't baby her by no stretch of the imagination. We do from time to time get down on her. And, uh, and we do punch her when necessary. Cobra is the top of the line 
uh, that you can get as far as the Mustang, but you're gonna get more horsepower out of a four valve. And so, um, but the two valves sound excellent, they do. They can, they make a mean sound, but you're not gonna get that much horsepower out of a, a two valve unless you really, unless you supercharge them. And still, you, you're not gonna get too much real horsepower power on a two valve without tearing that engine up. But at any rate, they're great cars to buy. They're fun to drive. If you ever have a chance to get a Mustang, uh, get it. Um, I favor these over the 550s because um, you can get these a lot cheaper than the 550s and you can do a lot more work to them and it'll cost a lot less than having work done on the 550s. Now, these models, you can do the work on yourselves as opposed to these 550s where the setup is some of them places, you can't hardly do anything to them. You gotta take them to a, a shop to have something done to it. But I do mostly all the work to this myself. The long two headers, uh, I got it all on my YouTube page where I've done the whole headers. I did redid the front end uh, all the shocks, the brakes and everything. I got the new tires and rims and stuff. So it was fun doing that. I did all the interior work myself. Uh, put in this four LED panel, push the start button. I installed that myself. I installed the um, quick disconnect steering wheel from NGR. Uh, everything in this car, I installed myself. And we just have a lot of fun with it. And you know, buying the long two headers, off-road X bike, and the boiler single tech catbacks, you know, it's gonna be a lot cheaper than when you wanna try and do a whole setup on a 550. Those mufflers run anywhere from three to four grand where you can do a complete exhaust system on these depending on what model you got and what type of headers you go with. You got all kinds of BBKs, you got Max, you know, you got uh, Cooks and uh, different types, wherever you, you go with, depending on how much money you want to spend. But you can buy a complete exhaust, long two headers or short headers, the X pipe and a cat back exhaust. You can probably get them all for about, I would say, running from twelve to about sixteen hundred dollars, depending on the the type that you get. And. Uh, like I said, I installed it myself, dropped the K-member by myself, and uh, putting everything back together by myself. It was uh, it was pretty fun. So, and uh, got the cover the way I wanted. This is the way I wanted. And so we'll do a video on that, on um, what to look for when buying a new edge, and is it worth buying a new edge? I like about the new edge, things I don't like about the new edge. But I'm going to tell you, it's not going to be what you think it is because there's not many things about the new edge that I don't like. And uh, I'll describe that in more detail in the video. But um, yeah, the the ride is beautiful. I'm riding on uh, the Coney adjustable shocks. I might at some point go to coilovers, but the Coney's are doing pretty well. You can adjust them at the top. You got a little um, cap that comes with it. You stick on it and you turn it clockwise. It stiffens it. You turn it counterclockwise. It gives you more bounce. So I got the rear pretty stiff because I got the 315s in the rear. And so I don't want the car bottoming out and scraping up against the bottom of the car. And so we got brand new brakes all the way around them. And uh, the interior carpet, everything, like I said, is brand new in here. And so you, I can put this up to any 2015 and up uh, Mustang and we'll do just as well because this thing is just like brand new. I mean, granted, it is 20 years old and I have 113 miles on here, but that's great for a 20 year old car. Looks, sounds, and runs like it's brand new. That's that's excellent. And so that's what I love about uh, these new edge cars. And I tell you, you can't beat them for the money
money that you pay for them and to fix them up, you can't beat them. And you don't have to worry about the taxes of those brand new vehicles. So, I love my new Edge. And uh, all you guys that have new Edges out there, I encourage you to fix them up the way you want them. You know, I'll, I did videos and review of my 99 Colt, which is painted electronic silver clear coat metallic from the shop and it's an electric green it's a beautiful color green and uh, it's a limited color green there's only 184 of these made in 99 and uh, this is a, a rare limited edition 99 Mustang Cobra so that's what we love about this thing is is rare limited And uh, she turns heads wherever she goes. All right, I'm at my destination. So we'll see you guys when I come back out. Okay, so this is Rev. We made it back. We dropped off our plate. And uh, we're headed out now. And we're headed back to the house. And... Uh, Ride with us back to the house. We'll roll the windows down a little bit so you can hear a little bit of this exhaust. Which is outstanding. things I hate or love about my new edge Mustang 
and uh, affordability. We'll, we'll go through all those things and how it rides. It, it rides nice on these Coney shocks. And um, I have uh, lowering springs. I bought maybe lowering. pictures of it so we'll we'll put some more photos of it and everything so you guys can enjoy that pretty much close to the house now and uh, we're gonna put it back up and then tomorrow we'll be videoing uh, taking the driver's door panel apart and finding out what's going on with the window here why it's hitting the underside it every day because it is a show car you don't want to get nips and chips all over it Stuff. 
driving and you don't get out and drive after it's been raining or snow, all that salt down on the road and everything. video of some drive-bys and uh, you'll hear how the boiler attack cat back sound so we're pulling back into our garage now where electric sleeps and boy this is going to be a challenge my wife is here now and uh, her car is in the garage in the Sierra is sitting in the driveway so this is going to be some turning and twisting and I see I'm going to have to already fix my uh, my stop, my pedal, my my wheel chalk. Wow, this might not be as bad as I thought it would be. Good driving. Man. That's it. Yeah. One pull in and one back out. Let me fix my wheel chalk. All right, guys. God bless you. Stay tuned. Tomorrow, we're going to be fixing this. Uh, window and so we're gonna pull the panel apart and we're gonna show you guys how to fix a window that's not shutting properly when you close the door okay god bless have a wonderful this is Rev with Rev It Up Mustang Fanatic Productions